Bonjour everyone! On today's video, I'll be showing you my favorite places at the University of Minnesota in Twin Cities. So, if you're interested, come closer to the screen because this video is going to be totally different than others. Let's go! As you can see, here we have a building right here and this building is called Folwell Hall. Here you can learn different languages Spanish, French, Italian, Russian, Arabic and all the languages that you might learn. So um, this is the Department of Languages. As you can see here, um, the full view of Folwell Hall is visible. So it's like one of the hugest halls so long that it has um, classrooms on the ground floor as well. So like what I do not like here in the US is that like they do not say first floor right away. First they will have ground floor and then they will have first floor. But like in my country it used to be different. We had first floor first, then second floor. Like ground floors are not that common, but here like every single building has ground floor. Another favorite place of mine. Um, it's like one of the sculptures and it has um, like chairs around so where you can get your studying done. So this place is this thing. Look at it. Why so beautiful, huh? Like this is a piece of art and this is presented to the University of Minnesota by its alumni association in uh, 1979, I guess. Yeah. So and here we have chairs and like tables and stuff to study. That's one of the things that I like at the University of Minnesota. We have a lot of chairs and like things um, that can like enable us to enjoy the nature and at the same time do study. So guys, the next place that I like is, are you ready? Wait, did you subscribe? Did you put the like? No? Come on, I'm waiting for that. Nice. So the next place that I love is Pillsbury Hall. Yay! This is one of the ancient halls here at University of Minnesota and it looks like a castle, right? The all we need is Rapunzel. Uh, So the next place is called Nordrop. This is a place where we will have um, concerts and like theater and stuff, dra drama. And like this is a place where you can like chill, you know, Madani Hordup, we call it in Uzbek like that. So um, what I like in Nordrop is that um, it has its own unique design that can't be found anywhere else in the campus. Well, the same with like all other halls, but uh, Nordstrop has its like own vibe, you know, some kind of like ancient vibe. So guys, this is, I think, the main entrance. It's like minimalism look. Um, the building itself, like the inside of the building interior is um, looks like gorgeous, but the outside is built in a minimalistic way. Like look at the color, that's like one of my favorite colors and I wish it was open. So Nordstrop Auditorium, third spot in our last, done. So welcome to Walter Library. Here we have the whole building, look at it. Here we have stairs from the first side, then from the second side again stairs. Uh, this is like the first floor and we have ground floor as well. The next destination is Robert Brinkins Hall. As you can see, this is immensely huge and believe me, it's third floor and it has like first, second and ground as well. So why I like this building? The reason is that the downtown Minneapolis is visible. The Mississippi River 
is visible. So here we have that arc stone bridge as well. Everything amazing is visible. And here we have our bridge that connects East Bank, the place that we're standing right now, East Bank, and the West Bank. So it's, it connects these two sides. Fifth place is done. Robert Brinkins Hall. Yay. So the next place is this building. It is Kaufman Memorial Union. It's like, um, let me just sit. It's like um, a student union where like all students come and like gather in one place and like do stuff. So uh, we have different events going on there. We have. Um, a lot of things like Yukard office, we have Starbucks as well, and the bookstore is inside. So everything that gathers students is at Kaufman. And it's like one of my favorite places because like when I first came here, uh, like that was my orientation day, I guess. So I had to come to Kaufman. So Kaufman gave me several like first unique memories that um, other places didn't give. So, Yay! And here we have the flag of the U.S. as well. So the next destination is... Yay! Our dear Goldie! So this is Goldie, symbol of our university. It's like gopher. And like here, like every single university has its own symbol. So ours is gopher. Like in order to like encourage our students, we say like go gophers. So M means Minnesota. And here we have our Goldie. Bye! So next spot, Goldie Gopher is done. Yay, finally I found the best spot to say bye. Because downtown Minneapolis is right there, Kaufman is right here, and Walter is right there. So um, this can be our favorite place as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the video. And if you watch it till the end, you know what to write, yeah, right? till the end on the comments so that like I would be able to see that you watch the video till the end. So, je t'aime you all. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate the time and energy that you spent. That's like indescribable. So that's the word that I use like hundreds of times on this video. Anyways, thank you and see you in my other videos. Yo, the next place is Northrop. 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 It's Northrop. E. Let's go. Kare le trolley gina. Let's go. Is there a trolley joy? Minnesota was a shunaka. No, university at the most shunaka toist. Um, no matter what. Trolley joy, let's go. Ay,